What it takes. 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 Um, it took strength, courage, definitely the time to be able to, you know, study. And I think you just need to have a backbone. You have to be able to handle stress very well. And I think that's a very good component. If you can handle stress, you can handle the program. You need to give up certain aspects of your life for a short amount of time. And I think that until you get over it and used to it, um, it makes it a lot harder. Like I didn't realize how many friends and extracurricular things I had to give up. And it actually ended up hurting me. And I failed one class and had to um, pick it up and continue. And now that I've cut back, I mean, I still see my friends and everything, but now that I've cut back, I do much better in school. You really got to dedicate a lot of your time and a lot of energy into your studying and research because it's valuable. You're going to really realize like the first few exams you take in first semester, whether or not your preparation was effective and what you're going to have to do to fix it because it's going to weed you out pretty quickly if you're not on top of your game. Keep fighting. Um, set time aside to study, like make it into your calendar. Like I actually have a calendar that I write what I'm going to study on that day. I have my own notebook and I rewrite all my PowerPoints. That's what I do. That helps me study. That's how I get it in my brain. Preparing. You know, being a week ahead in your assignments. So if something in life gets in the way, you're able to go ahead and be prepared for class. I don't think you realize how much work it actually is until you get into it and you see it. You know, because it's a different learning. It's not the same as memorization and then, you know, you're just applying it into a test. You actually have to know the material and what to understand. and how. You can memorize stuff like all day, every day, but it, at the end of the day, if you can't do critical thinking, you are not going to get far. In first semester, they start to give you the building blocks for it, but by third semester, they really expect you to be able to understand the patho behind diseases and not only know the signs and symptoms but why these signs and symptoms are happening and then apply it in your clinical I study alone um, I, I tried the study groups but you know if you don't have the right study partner um, the studying kind of deviate to something else just chit chatting or stuff like that allowing yourself a break I think is a big thing because you do get so focused and so determined to do all of this that you sometimes just need you know, a half hour, an hour to go to a movie or to watch a television program to feel like a person again. A lot of caffeine. Don't listen to other people. I think that's a big thing. Or let other people's views of what they've gone through in the past get in the way. You know, if someone's failed a class, don't let that ultimately make you think you're going to fail a class because that can get you down. I reflected. So as one semester passed, I reflected and I thought to myself, okay, I got through this. So here's another one. I can do this. Then the next one passed. Okay, we've got two more. I can do this. And that's what helped me get through it. You know, and I'm, it was just something that I was determined to do. And I wasn't going to let anything get in the way of that. Everybody in the program is like a family. So you can rely on other students that's in the classroom if you need help. So I think that's a big factor as far as being in a program. You know, you have all these other people that's with you, that's rooting for you, and it's just, I love it. It takes hard work, dedication, and you gotta decrease your work hours. And tell your family you see them at the end when you're all done. <laughs>